welcome back guys today in this tutorial i will show you guys how to remove object in adobe photoshop very easily and also how to replace the removed object with the background content in this example i'm going to remove this umbrella from the scene and replace it with the water and the rocks behind i took this photo because we have two different type of surface behind water and rocks using the same principles you can remove any item from any photos all right if you want to download this photo just follow the download link under the description below all right let's get started first thing what i'm going to do is i'm going to remove the portion which is covering the water so i'm going to draw using the lasso tool and make a selection in here so i'm estimating the size of the rock behind the umbrella and drawing this selection and we need to cut off this portion so i'm covering the umbrella outside areas like this it's okay to have portions outside you don't need to worry too much on the outside area which is covering the water all right so we already made the selection now once you made the selection go to edit and select content aware fill which will open up the content aware fill dialog box and here you will see there is a portion which is already removed the area we have selected and you will see there is a portion highlighted in green color how this work is photoshop will replace the selection with the green highlighted areas in here so we have to define the proper replacement area for the photoshop so that our results will be accurate in this example we only need to select the water because we are only going to replace the area in the water so we need to take out all the rocks and the outside area other than the water you can select and deselect by using the plus and minus key on top in here so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to select only the water as you can see when i'm selecting and deselecting our results is keep on changing I will make this portion faster and I will select only the water and deselect areas which are outside the water and also keep in mind when you select the water try to select the water with the same lighting as the area which you are replacing if you replace it with a brighter light you will see there's an additional brightness appearing in the scene once you are satisfied you can select ok before you say ok you can select where you want to apply this new updated area you can select to the same layer or you can create a new layer i'm going to select a new layer for this example and select ok all right so our new updated area has been placed on a layer on top in here but you can still see the background area which is the rock supposed to be according to the photoshop don't worry about it now we can change it later on with our touch up all right so let's replace the area which is covering the rock i'm going to select the lasso tool again and i'm going to draw this time on top of the bottom area all right so let's make this part faster okay so once the selection is done again let's go back to edit and content aware fill this time we are only going to select the rocks so we eliminate the water and other areas we only select the rocks in here the bigger ones and take out all the unnecessary areas water and this area in here maybe we select these portions in here also as you can see when i select this portion our rock area is changing properly and i forgot to mention this part earlier as you can see because of the surrounding colors colors of the umbrella the rock also get affected to avoid this problem you can simply go to color adaptation and change the default to none now we will see the color change is gone all right so let's select some more rocks in here only the rocks portion so every time you select your rock is becoming unique and once you're satisfied with your selection again you choose where to put this uh, layer i'm going to keep default as new layer and okay now 
you can see our new layer has been placed underneath the layer which we have created earlier and our content is totally gone all right so this looking good this is just the default settings now all we need to do is do some touch-up works first thing i'm going to make a selection from one of the shapes the shapes which we have created control and click and then create a new layer and apply a fill color all right now select all the layers and merge them together all right so now we have a reference selection layer and a merge layer we will use the reference selection later on now i'm going to select the clone stamp tool and make some touch-ups all right select the clone stamp tool and select the reference area and place it in here now this is really simple you just need to copy some portions from outside and make this one a little bit more realistic so i will make this part faster and i will do the same with the water as well you don't need to worry about overlapping areas we will use the selection tool later to delete those portions for now we just concentrate on the water area all right so i think this is good enough so now we go and select the reference and add a mask to hide the portion which are outside all right once you are satisfied with your artwork select all layers and merge them together all right guys that's about it for today you can keep edit this image and make some more light adjustment and add little bit more details to the image and touch up even more further it's all up to you guys all right that's all about it for today thank you for watching hope you guys learned something new from today's tutorial see you guys in the next tutorial